also coming from a lineup of high damaging shotgun based variants, a lineup that for the most part didn't miss a beat with this formula comes Astronaut. Given this precedent, you would expect Astronaut to function the same, but he doesn't, therefore leading to the most unique experience of the class. The key to mastering Astronaut is in his particular toolbox. Step one of this is mastering his foot soldier adjacent playstyle. Let me break it down for you, and also take you on a journey. We'll first take a look at how this character evolved patch to patch. Alright, this segment will be far more interesting when we dive into characters like e Citron. but wait, there are still a couple of interesting nuggets of information with Astronaut. Astronaut started Garden Warfare 2 with a much lower DPS and damage per clip. All these stats are based on crit damage by the way, just to get an idea of this guy's full potential. It obviously scales the same either way. Though a DPS of 68 and a damage per clip of 307 is still pretty solid, but I guess not solid enough, as in the June 2016 patch, his ammo was increased by 25%, and later in September of 2016, his damage per shot was increased by almost 25% as well. No idea what compelled them to do that, but now, our astronaut is way better without upgrades, as he was with them at launch. I mean, the overall sandbox of Garden Warfare 2 has shifted a lot over the two years of patches this game's got, so maybe he felt underpowered at the time? The stat sheet says otherwise, but that doesn't always translate. That's all to say we had a pretty solid character that's now borderline OP. With the stage set, let's dive in. Okay, lead your shots a bit, you gotta lead them. Oh, <laughs> oh. Boy. Wait. The three stats that set Astronaut apart are his ammo, rate of fire, and damage drop-off. They set him apart as they are all more favourable on Astronaut's stat sheet than any other scientist. What does this mean in particular though? Well, Astronaut doesn't have a shotgun anymore, he has an assault rifle. Despite a damage per shot of nearly a third of your average scientist, his DPS ranks him fourth overall. Third if you want to disqualify computer scientist crunch mode. So he's able to dish out a very high amount of damage, much like the other scientists. Wait, hold on. No, 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 no. Yes. All right. Yeah, wasn't about to be denied by being put on the wrong team. Wait, where were we? Oh yeah, big damage. <laughs> How many kills was that? Three. Let's go. The fall off is where things get interesting, however. Even when firing at a target 100 meters away, his DPS remains a solid 60, with a damage per clip of 362 at this range. By the way, Astronaut's base damage per clip is 482. That means that per single clip, Astronaut can take out three pea shooters and still be able to miss a shot or two just in case. At this 100 meter range, he's still able to take down two pea shooters with much more ammo to spare. Astronaut's accuracy is also pretty good, so even in the game field department, he's still pretty good. This obviously also has a positive effect on how good he is at range. So given this info, it's highly recommended you keep at least a little distance between you and your target. This is made even more beneficial with a heal station. You'll be unkillable at range. Okay. Uh, thin rose hitbox. Not a problem. Nice big fat juicy cactus hitbox. Also not a problem. Yes, death by goat. We've got a little bit of grinding left to do before we can talk about upgrades, but oh boy, do those numbers ever get eye-wateringly high. Ammo. I'm so close to level 10, I don't really want to go in a game and just waste the rest of it. So we're going to get that level 10 in the backyard and then jump back in. Just one damage away. Just that one damage upgrade away. Good game, good game. Switch teams, let me switch. Please. Please let me switch. Why is there no one on plant? Okay, there's a chomper, that's it. Let me switch. Yes, thank you. Oh, well, okay. He's got splash and I've got bad aim, so who's going to win? Somehow me. I, I don't know, God messed up there. <laughs> Level 5. Does that mean damage? <sighs> damage! Again. Hey look, at least I'm a cut above someone who's just started playing. 
We have the Holy Trinity of upgrades. Let's try them out. Oh, not again. It can't be full. It can't be full. It can't be, no. No. Customizations, character upgrades, speed. Get out of here. Where is it? There it is, damage. I swear. Alright, well. <laughs> No one sees a damn thing. For the boys? Nice. Oh, I didn't want it. I just wanted to stop him. Astronauts upgrades are the standard bunch, so the tried and true damage ammo reload is recommended. Also, with all three of these equipped, his damage per clip is 645. So using our pea shooter reference, that's five pea shooters you're able to take down in one clip. Though that is assuming your accuracy is on point and none of them are rock pea. But with a damage per clip like that, in a 1v1, even if you miss, I don't know, 50% of your shots, you'll be fine. Huh? There's a new one. Just tearing through, really. These stats reveal more than anything that Astronaut is an incredibly lenient character with some borderline OP stats that will carry even with only the slightest shred of skill. As always, I save all my coins up till the end so we can do a big old pack opening of disappointment, ultimately. There he is, fellas. I'm so close to one more. That's so annoying. <laughs> but, with all that being said, thank you for watching.